Hi, thanks for joining me very quickly on this one. And I'm dedicating it to my friend, very good friend, who um, showed me and was part of my awakening um, nearly two years ago to do with all the numbers and patterns. And that's Zenith of the Alpha America. Um, and I just want to kind of show how, because I know he, he's at the minute questioning whether everything that we're finding and he's found and the number patterns and links, whether it's coincidence. And I just want everyone just to really just think for a second or a few minutes, however long it might take you, just on that actual word itself or any word, where do these words come from? They didn't just come out of nowhere. They were created, they were constructed by man as a form of communication. How else would we be communicating in this day and age now? It's through language, whether that's computer language, verbal language or written language. It's communication. It's what keeps the world going around. All of it has been constructed by man. I'm not saying how that he did it all by himself. I don't want to even get into that part. But it is a construction. You can't deny that, can you? And it all follows a law. Predetermined laws. One word after another creates a sentence, you know? Eligible communication. One string of numbers after other string of numbers form a law that creates a program for things to work. Right, don't want to get too deep. All of us are capable of these two things, good and bad. The zero is the key thing, because that's what's going round. We're going round in this circle of time and money. That's what we're prisoners of, all of us. <laughs> you can't escape either of those two things, can you? Time or money, They're the same thing. And we come from water, all of us come from water. When we're born, waters break. That's also the same thing as time and money. Water, it all flows. Okay, um, the zero then, take the zero from good. That's where it reveals God. And again, the word God, it's our version of what that higher being is, that spirit. That word itself is a constructed word. But it fits when we're taking the zero out. God. There is only one God as well, okay? There's lots of other religions, belief systems. Uh, yeah, I accept that. But there is only one true God at the end of the day. So following those laws that have already been predetermined and constructed, it's not a coincidence. The actual word itself is a, is a constructed word to try and just distract people from what the actual truth is when you look close enough, like people like myself and Zenith of the Alpha have been doing. It's there for a reason to be looked into closer if you want to um, and not afraid to, because there's nothing to be afraid of with this. The truth is good, it's beautiful, so it's not anything to be afraid of. It's the world we live in that's really the this, and all the distractions around it to stop us looking closer at things. Time, no people have time to stop and look things at, at things anymore. They consume it like fast food. Even the information sometimes that people take in, they just forget about a few days later. It's easily done, I know. Anyway, this is, oh, so we got God. Good or bad, that's all of us. Following those laws, O is 15th letter, ordinal, O-R, ordinal. Okay, R is the 18th. 15 plus 18, again, following the basic law of math. None of this is a coincidence. You can't say math is a coincidence, it's a law. 
There's your 33. That's what we are. Good and bad. Three and three. Same down the middle. In the mirror, add the two together, you get the eight. Three and three is man. And woman as, as well, of course. We can't forget the sacred female in all of this. Because again, that's where we're born from. No one on earth has been born from a man. Remember that. Um, it's the sacred female. Three and three is man. It's both all of us, man and woman. I've wrote it as man. I don't mean to be sexist by that. It's just the way, you know, these things kind of are always put across, isn't it? Woman is the sacred female. It's a different video altogether. Um, so it's the three and the three plus God, the one true God gets us to the perfection. Seven. It really is as simple as that. Perfection is when you look at all this close enough to realize nothing is a coincidence. It is all part of a construction. But in underneath it all, and in our spirits and in our hearts, we know there is this, the good. It's just been added. God has been added with the zero, the whole time loop, snaky in its tail, whatever you want to describe that as. God is disguised in the good. Good or bad, it is all of us, three and three. Just try and be more this. Fight off that. Because when you are that, you feel that. When you do that, you will feel that eventually. Your conscience will catch up with you. You can't live in denial forever. And there's no denying that this is not a coincidence. None of it is. All the synchronicities, the word synchronicity, it's a constructed word. Defining, it defines things that happen for us to just, you know, comprehend it and pass it off. And then just carry on with our day-to-day -day lives and try not to look too close to it. It's all taken away from that. That's all it's trying to do from us. With the snake eating its tail, it's trying to take us away from the one true God. We are all there, 33. You need to just find the one to become that. God bless everybody.